interesting test for the melanin dominant individual who has all, but who has nothing at this point, is the willingness for them to connect themselves up again to universal law and order and be able to literally leave Egypt, to literally leave this madness and take their proper space and time. And so that means that if you know that you're on jobs where you're not included in the 5, 10, 20 year perspective, mm -hmm. then you know that you have no business there. That's right. Can you do that and not feel that your whole life is going to crash down to the ground? Because your working has nothing to do with your existence. Because you're not paying for air, sunshine, plants. Those things basically cannot be bought. And they have not been able to be manufactured. So I ask that this be a time, and it's not coincidental that we know we've just had a lunar eclipse. That's right. Okay, that you begin to really think about why you have the belief system that you have. When you think these thoughts, do you automatically feel uncomfortable? Because you have to understand, it's not the experience of the people outside of you, it's your thoughts that keep you at bay with yourself and, dis and in discomfort. If you don't have money, why not? What's the difference between you and Trump? He defecates and urinates just like you do. So the only difference is your state of consciousness. So now the sister was up here asking for support for your future. I mean, that's ridiculous that she even had to make the statement to me. Because that is part of your heritage to want to know that wherever you are deciding that you've done enough, that now you have some individual that can take it on. There's no way that you can survive and not be willing to invest in your future. And so the idea that somebody has to beg you for that, again, should give you an indication of how out of your mind you are. Individuals who have demonstrated over and over again their dedication to wanting to make available to you the information, they should be, after your basic needs are taken care of, the first people you pay the first, because they are demonstrating to you what they are doing with their time and money. That's what's so obvious. I mean, it's, real, it's before your very eyeballs. Dr. Bodice, you got four Rolls Royce out front. Because now, if you don't have four Rolls Royce out front at a big, huge mansion over here behind this building, then you know what he's doing with the money. I can't believe that anybody would even come in and discuss his prices, anybody else's prices, if they not exhibited that. Because the point of it is, he should have them. And you should want him to have them. Because if he's helping you keep your body in alignment, and that's what he's able to exhibit, then you know that's going to be your gift. So we need to stop the foolishness of talking about something that's too expensive. Mm -hmm. Especially when it deals with something so sacred as this altar, known as the physical body. Oh, yeah. Something so sacred as information that you know you don't know. Okay, that's the first thing you should want to pay for. Mm -hmm. And begin to start rechanneling our money to use for what we have already available to correct our condition and build our institution. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I would ask you to bring some things to your attention. Uh, as I said, uh, I have a tremendous amount of inf information that I'm uh, slowly putting into a translated form for you to glean. This is the first book that's ever been written about minerals and vitamins for the melanin dominant individual. It's awesome to recognize how m much of melanin is already vitamin. There are certain vitamins that are already incorporated in melanin molecules that you don't need to take. So this was really kind of a pun on the one a day vitamin because it is not adequate for the melanin dominant individual. So you need to stay out of the store buying those centrums and those one-a-day vitamins, et cetera. They're very dangerous. Because not until you understand basically who you are and how melanin works, you are causing yourself a lot of problems. Okay? So, yes, uh, they're next door. So this actually gives some information on the ethnicity of the African. And for mothers, please stop raising our future incorrectly. Our children are the most mature children on the planet and they grow very rapidly. The African child is an adult at age 14. Now stop it. Now when I was running
in the energy clinic, I recognized the little sisters that I had to deal with here that were 13 or 14 years old, on a physical level, were living out their destiny. But because their mother didn't know who they were, obviously didn't know what they had, these young women had been downloaded no information. By the time an African child is seven years old, they must start intense education and discipline so that when their hormones finally kick in at full level at 14, you have a functioning adult. And this is the danger if you constantly send in your kids to an educational system that actually is using their own or another race's cultural standards to educate your kids. It takes 21 years for a Caucasian to mature. 21. So therefore, what we do is inset severe mental retardation in our children. When I was at U of M, I was going to a primary medicine lecture, and uh, the gentleman was giving a uh, dissertation on stress urinary incontinence, which was something before that was never really heard of in African females. But because we've dogged our bodies out with so much meat and flesh, and we have so many tumors in our pelvis, we are not able to control our urine either. Because you have to understand, it's a complete insult for an adult to wear a diaper. Anytime you've got up to pens up in your house, you've got to really look at what's happening with yeah. So this is a common problem when the tissues do not have melanin, et cetera, because they lose their elasticity. They have a different structure, a different circulatory system. So as he was saying, he showed these African sisters with their little babies on their legs. Because in Africa, there is a technique where the baby is put in a particular position, frog leg as a matter of fact, and that is when they are taught to defecate and urinate. So that's why they don't need diapers. And that's why you don't see any mothers with urine and feces running down their side. Because unless that baby is put in that position, the baby already knows that it does not release itself. So therefore, he was talking about the fact that it was obvious and that he found it very interesting that African children can be toilet trained at six months. So when I see a beautiful African child, three years old, stand up in my face with a diaper, okay, you know, I just wish I could just really have an intense course with the mother. Because this child is profoundly, it's moving into retardation. Because this child's neurologic development was competent to be taught how to be potty trained at six months old. And this was a Caucasian that knew this. Now again, why don't you know this about your own child? See, this is what's so awesome. So here we have an individual that can actually start controlling their body at six months old. Okay, how are you going to tell somebody who physiologically and endocrinologically at 14 years old to come in at 10 o'clock is curfew. That's ridiculous, okay? And that's why they get upset and just go off, which means that that's why that our young men are now drug off to jail, okay? And Europeans are talking about, oh my goodness, these are horrible type people, you know, and we have to now inoculate them because they have something known as a fearless gene. It's ridiculous when you understand that this is because the mother basically did not install in this gentleman who was definitely going to be totally capable of deciding his own destiny by 14 years old, what the deal was. So come on, sisters, stop it. You have to come out of these institutions on these jobs that you're prostituting yourself on before you continue to kill this race. One out of every three women has uterine fibroids with a representation of how you misuse your creative energy. You're constantly going to jobs that they don't give a damn about you. It has nothing to do with you. You still do not get a shoe out of that that fits, a dress that fits, or anything else that you need. You are constantly in servitude to a race of people who do not care. And it's your problem because you continuously give them the energy to continue not to care. If you're busy, believe me, taking care of your stuff and providing for yourself, the interaction that you would have with all other races would be totally of a different level. But you cannot have respect if you do not give it to yourself first. I mean, it looks ridiculous for you to try to squeeze yourself in some European clothes that don't fit. You have seen how ridiculous you look? Yeah. And it's an insult for you to go up there with an African body in the Saks Avenue and try that mess on. 